I wonder if you've installed the mobile application of the Hong Kong Observatory yet. If not, I recommend you download it as soon as possible. In this episode of the Weather Observation Course, I'd like to talk about an amber rainstorm case on the 11th of May 2020 to give you some starting tips. By using My Observatory app on rainy days, you can receive notifications and access some useful tools such as radar and lightning imagery, location-based rain and lightning forecasts with regional winds and other data to facilitate planning for your outdoor activities, as well as disaster preparedness and prevention. Let's begin. Right now, a rain band associated with a trough of low pressure is about to affect Hong Kong. On the front page, we can see the thunderstorm warning has been issued. Click on Special Weather Tips. It warns the public that intense gusts reaching 80 km per hour or above may affect Hong Kong. So please seek shelter at a safe place as soon as possible. An alert was also issued earlier saying Hong Kong may be affected by widespread heavy rain. And members of the public should be on the alert. That was issued at 8.45 p.m. First, let's take a look at the radar imagery to see where the rain band is. On this 64 kilometer range radar image, we can see the area of rain now over the Pearl River estuary is moving from the northwest to the southeast, gradually edging closer to Hong Kong. The 128 kilometer range radar image shows the area of rain is organized. Its structure can be even more clearly seen on the 256 kilometer range image. A northeast-southwest oriented rain band is gradually edging over Hong Kong from the northwest. Areas in orange and yellow are being affected by heavy rain, with a rainfall rate of more than 30 mm per hour. Even heavier rain is in the areas in red, where the rainfall rate is over 100 mm per hour. The rain band hasn't yet affected Hong Kong for now. However, when the rain band sweeps across Hong Kong, it'll bring us widespread heavy rain. Let's look at the location-based rain and lightning forecast. To make access easier, we can go to My Shortcut Settings. Drag the icon of Loc-based rain and lightning forecast to the bottom. This is an automated forecast, generated from the Observatory's Rainstorm Nowcasting System, Swirls, which provides rain and lightning forecasts for the next two hours at half-hourly intervals. When the Observatory issues a rainstorm warning signal, the Swirls Automated Rainfall Forecast will also be used as a reference, together with the forecaster's experience. I'm now in Chim Sa Choi. The starting time for this forecast is 9 p.m. Rain is forecast here after 10 p.m. It'll be heavier after 10.30 p.m. This rain band will first affect the northwestern part of the new territories like the La Fao San and Yunlong regions. It will then move southeastwards across Hong Kong. From the regional weather information, we can check the wind speed and direction. The coastal areas of Guangdong are being affected by a trough of low pressure, and winds in the vicinity of the trough are relatively weak. Of course, when the areas of rain and thunderstorms move across Hong Kong, we expect intense or violent gusts from the downdrafts associated with strong convection under the influence of severe thunderstorms the wind direction will change abruptly. Later, when the areas of rain and thunderstorms move across Hong Kong, we'll check again how the local winds are changing. At 9.25 p.m., 
the observatory issued the Amber Rainstorm Warning Signal. Heavy rain is expected to fall generally over Hong Kong, exceeding 30 mm an hour, and is likely to continue. There will be flooding in some low-lying and poorly drained areas. People who are likely to be affected should take necessary precautions to reduce their exposure to risk from the heavy rain and flooding. Heavy rain may also bring about flash floods. People should stay away from the watercourses. People who are likely to be affected by flooding should take necessary precautions to avoid losses. The observatory issued the thunderstorm warning earlier to remind the public not to stand on high grounds and keep away from highly conductive objects, trees or masts. The warnings currently in force include the amber rainstorm signal and the thunderstorm warning. To verify imminent heavy rain, we must look at the radar imagery. Personally, I like to see a wider range of 256 kilometers first to grasp a broader picture of the organization of the whole rain band. The rain band passed Guangzhou about two hours ago and continues to advance southeastwards. Now the area of rain and thunderstorms has started to affect the northwestern part of the new territories such as Yunlong, Tunmun and neighboring areas. I mentioned earlier about the heavy rain areas in orange and yellow colors where rainfall rate is more than 30 millimeters per hour. For the heavy rain areas in red, the rainfall rate is even over 100 millimeters per hour. The rainfall amount recorded on the ground depends on the rainfall rate and how long the area of rain stays over that place. That means rainfall rate times duration of stay of the rain. To determine the distance away from lightning, we can look at the lightning location map. First of all, take a look at the cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning. Cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning has occurred in the northern New Territories and the northwestern part of the territory, and it's entered my 15-kilometer range. There's still not much cloud-to-ground lightning over the New Territories yet, so the cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning information is very useful. Sometimes it can serve as a precursor. You can see the legend for more detailed explanations. I've already introduced the location-based rain and lightning forecast. The latest automated forecast indicates Chim Sa Tsui, the place where I am now, will start to have rain and lightning after 10 p.m. and rain will become heavier after around 10.30 p.m. If we want to track those rain areas likely to affect us soon, we have to look at the radar imagery. For assessing weather conditions over a larger area at an earlier time, we can take a look at the satellite imagery six hours before or even earlier. We already see that thunderstorms and a rain-bearing convective cloud band associated with a trough of low pressure oriented northeast-southwest over western Guangdong is moving eastwards gradually and edging closer to Hong Kong. From the rainfall distribution map, we can see that in the past hour, over 20 to 30 millimeters of rain has been recorded over the northern New Territories near Takuling. The forecaster has just, at 10 p.m., updated the tips, with violent gusts reaching 100 kilometers per hour or above continuing to affect Hong Kong. The public should seek shelter at a safe place immediately. Now let's look at the radar imagery again to check out which regions are being affected by heavy rain. We choose a 64 kilometer range to see the rain echoes in more detail. The deepest red shows the area of heaviest rain. Luckily, it's skirted to the northeast of Hong Kong. From the 256 kilometer range radar imagery covering a larger area, we can see that the whole rain band is well organized. 
to our north, we see a bow-shaped squall line. Just skirting to the north of Hong Kong. We need to pay attention to the violet gusts in front of the bow-shaped squall line. Fortunately, it's not affecting Hong Kong. The squall line has orange and yellow echoes at its front edge and blue and green echoes behind it, which have much weaker rain intensity. But that doesn't mean there are definitely no thunderstorms and lightning over there. Therefore, I'll recommend you check out the radar image overlaid with lightning information. The blue and green rain areas did indeed get lightning activity in this case, so we shouldn't take it lightly. From the regional weather, we can find information on wind speed and direction. Heavy rain and severe thunderstorms associated with the squall line advancing from the northwest have swept across Hong Kong. Wind speed rose abruptly at the place where it just swept through. The wind direction also suddenly turned to the northwest. This is the so-called Northwest Shehufeng. This is the 10-minute average wind speed. The blue wind barb indicates that wind speed has reached strong winds at 41 to 62 kilometers per hour. And the wind speed of associated gusts may reach 100 kilometers per hour. Gust is the instantaneous wind speed. It can be much higher than the average wind speed with larger fluctuations and destructive power. Click on the location of a wind station. You can see its wind speed and direction for the past 24 hours in the form of a time series. The upper chart shows winds at Green Island. The average wind speed there rose to around 60 km per hour in the past 10 minutes. In the lower chart, you can also see the sudden change of wind direction from the south to the northwest. In Tsim Sa Tse, we already got heavier rain at around 10 p.m. To have a closer look, we can see the radar reflectivity image overlaid with lightning. I've already heard the sound of rain here in Tsim Sa Tse. Okay, that's all for me. Bye now!